All right, so what is going on today, YouTube? We are going in with some Vendred zombies, and thanks to the ban list, we did a we did get a couple of more cards that we can use. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be playing with the new list. So let's see how far we can actually get with this deck. And oh my God, we have opened up actually pretty, 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 really actually decent. Hold on, can we turn that down? No, we cannot turn that down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just turn down my speaker so we don't have to hear that. So as you can see, we can start off with a pre-prep to get us a, yeah, we might as well start off with the pre-prep. Hopefully we do not get Ash Blossom, but yeah, that's cool. Um, let's go ahead and normal summon this and what we can do here is we could dump Hmm We could dump the uh, the hound horde which is just Fantastic we can dump the hound horde or what we can do is dump Mizuki and then uh, We could fusion summon. I mean ritual summon using this and then single to a uh, Sun Saga which then would trigger Slayer. And you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's send Mizuki. All right, so. All right, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do a different play. All right, I was supposed to turn that completely down. Uh, let's go ahead and just use this Slayer. We're gonna drop this. Um, so let's see here real quick. Go ahead and put that on right back. All right, so we're gonna go into a Sun Saga. Start this off with a Sun Saga right there. Um, and then we're going to use Slayer's effect, and since we do uh, run multiple pre preps, we definitely can. Uh, what's the name? We can definitely uh, just use, you know, we definitely can just use, um, we, we can use pre prep to get the ritual spells back to our hand. But that is the problem with this deck is that, um, with this deck, is like, uh, what's the name, like, man, this, like, you run out of ritual spells so fast. But the reason why we crit Revenants instead of Hound Horde, which would have been a lot easier, is because uh, we do have this uh, Heavy Dust Storm, which I'm probably going to be, uh, going, going, Heavy Storm Duster, we're probably going to be bumping up to more. See, look, there it goes. So he's already starting off with a Terraforming in a Kaiju Waterfront. Oh, that's some bullshit right there. But it's okay, that's, that's, that's getting... That's getting popped immediately as soon as you uh, activate a card. Activate a card. We're definitely going to get rid of it. Um, we're definitely not going to let him resolve with that. We're going to heavy dust storm immediately. Never mind. Um, oh, that's that's actually pretty fine. That's actually really fine. That was a dumb move, I would say, because he gave me a kite. Like he gave me a gradle that. Uh, all right, so what do you do? Um, you tribute to add a Time Lord. So I'm guessing you can't do that. It's going to give him, like, it's going to be put at two, and then I'm going to negate it with, with the Gamma Seal. So, um, yeah, this is not like, uh, um, yeah, you, you just, you know, just going to negate with Gamma Seal now. And this is the reason why, like, <laughs> I mean, you, you're not supposed to give me this card, but, uh, yeah, so you can't special summon during the turn. I mean, you can't special summon other monsters. Wait, what? Oh, wait, so he can't activate. Okay, that's that's completely fine. What, what's that supposed to do? Oh, he can link. He can link up. That's exactly what he can do right now. He can link up into, yeah, he can go into an M Duke, which he probably should have went right there. Um, let's see, does he have, oh, he's playing, he's playing that, okay, um, going to just go ahead and negate that, so, yeah, I mean, that was, that was pretty stupid, alright, so we are back with the second duel of the day, we're going up against your name, and let's try to go ahead and win this rock, paper, scissors, let's go paper. Uh, human paper again. I'm pretty sure he's gonna go rock. So we're gonna go paper again. Okay. Well, he went scissors. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's completely fine. Um, we have opened up really good. Oh my God! Do I love this card so much? I mean, it's not really as useful as it used to be because of uh, Zoo is being hit. But this card. Oh my God, man! I really want to do a discussion on this card because this card has opened my eyes. This is so fucking good. You guys don't understand how like how good this card actually is. Um, oh no, that's that's just unfair. Now, oh my God! All right, so 
what we can do is we can go solitaire um, or we can normal summon this all right but the whole plan is to get this full force virus off so what i'm going to do what I, i'm gonna just do a weird play i know what you guys are gonna be like oh wait that, that's really pretty stupid we're gonna try to black rose this field that's what we're going to try to be doing right now i'm going to normal summon this and we're going to attack right here we're going to attack right into him um hopefully it's something with a no, not too i probably no 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 the whole play is not to use the effect um okay there's a cobra why would you set that all right so that's that's cool that's cool all right so i know what we can do we can do a uh we can do a different play here so main phase two i could just dump the hound horde right so what we're going to do wait what did he search he searches scorp wait what okay we're going to dump hound horde yeah we're going to dump hound horde um and then we're going to activate this by doing that we're going to bring you out on the board now i don't know if i want to tribute my samurai skull or actually use uh hmm well let's see what happens let's activate the origin all right so we got it oh wait we have i forgot we had that in the grave so we can definitely do we want to get rid of that that's the yeah we're going to definitely have to get rid of that because that would be kind of stupid to just go ahead and do and then we're going to activate this effect um bottomless uh yeah sure we're going to chain this and banish that um and do we want to actually banish the origin i think we kind of do no we don't want to yeah we have to banish origin which sucks but it's okay because what we can do is go into samurai saga bam and since we have the samurai skull that means immediately uh he's going to be able to uh, use his effect so which is which is super cool is we could dump a wait what okay so yeah we can get another hound horde going right now so what we can do is we could uh for free actually bring out this uh slayer with no effects we could banish unizombie and tribute samurai skull or we can just use this to add another ritual but i kind of you know you know let's, we, we have to so we can just use this we can just add that to our hand and then what we can do here is what's going on here huh yeah why is it not letting me use the effect all of a sudden what wow this clearly says okay you can only use each of the preceding effects of oh wait what oh shit all right so i read that completely wrong but it's okay we can uh <laughs> we can end our turn so i read that um okay so i read that completely wrong i read that totally wrong um wait so wait I, I don't get it okay well it, it, it doesn't matter this is a <laughs> wait I, I i don't know if i'm reading hound Horde wrong so wait, we can't only, only we can only gain the effect and what's return. i understand that part but so but that isn't once per turn okay because it was ruled a whole entirely different way but thanks to this uh young man right here this young samurai skull we can do some good things what we're going to do here since we already have the mizuki we're going to just dump this because then if a zombie would get destroyed right yeah we can just protect it so we're going to use you and we're going to ditch that to special summon this right in defense mode and then we're going to activate this young card right here and we're actually going to banish the uh, Rev and Dread Slayer to bring him out. We could have easily, you know, attributed Skull and Mizuki and did some more things. But let me see. What was in his defense? Okay, he probably added Scorpio. So we're going to attack with this. It looks like his defense is zero. Okay, so yeah, this was ruled completely different. Okay, so he's saying, uh, all right, so all right, I get it now. Okay, we can only special summon once and we can only gain the effect once. But his effect to, like, to banish the spell and trap you could use that you okay so if, if there's two slayers on like you use this effect with two slayers you could uh i mean you could banish multiple times per turn so that's good all right so since this shit says 1500 or less defense i'm, I'm believing uh, this is just pretty much over as you guys probably seen in the replays uh the full force virus was probably just one of the best fucking cards yep that's the whole thing yep 
but sadly he fucking drew the Goki rematch but it doesn't actually that kind of does matter because now he gets to just reset everything but hey we, we, we did good all right so he can go um, actually he can't really destroy anything on my board because Sun Saga will protect and banish the spirit master and then I get to pop literally whatever he goes into but I'm pretty sure he's gonna go into a Mrs. Radiant which is like completely fine. Like I said, I have this Mizuki in my hand. Samurai Skull, if that gets, if that leaves the field because of a card effect, it triggers. Man, that card is so goddamn good. Oh man, <clears throat> that that card is just, that card is just so fucking amazing, man. When you when you play against Zoo and you summon like a Samurai Skull they, and they have a Drancia, they they literally let the Drancia die, or they have to use the effect, and the Samurai Skull can get you a Gozuki. And I know somebody asked me, uh. Why do you play more Samurai Skulls than Gozuki? The reason why I do that is because, well, last well, last format, which has only been a couple of days, but last format, literally, like, Drantia, like, a, like if I summon Gozuki against a Drantia, what happens? I mean, I don't get to Gozuki's effect. I don't get anything. If they book a moon, my shit, or if they tribute summon for, like, a Draco and pop it because of the trap card or, or pop it because of Masterpiece, I don't get to send anything from Gozuki, but with Samurai Skull, the fact that when you normal summon it triggers, so that means that they don't have a chance, I mean, they can still pop up with Drantia, but my effect still resolves, and then I get the other effect, which is just the reason why I played multiple of Samurai Skull over Gozuki is because Zodiacs were the best deck out, True Draco was right behind it, um, anything like, like pretty much, um, I did want to get my normal summon off and get the effect off, like Unizombie. Uh, sure, I mean you could say the same thing about Unizombie, but uh, Okay, well then we win right there, but you can say the same thing about Unizombie that is completely true But you know, it's a tuner So even if they do like try to stop the effect I can still do other things with it and like Gozuki being normal summon He literally doesn't do anything if it gets removed from the field I would rather summon Samurai Skull and attack into a Dryden or attack into a, like a uh, whatever they got on their board, Hammer Kong, whatever. Just literally force their cards. I, like people use P uh, Pianissimo on their Dridents just so it won't like just so they won't have to force to use the effect. Like they've did so much different shit to like play around Skull. Like it's 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 crazy. That card, man. This card is so just amazing. All right, so be right back with the deck profile. All right, so we are back with the deck profile, and not really too much has changed. Except I took out a hound horde and I took out the allures and stuff like that because I wanted to make it towards 40. Now we can easily just put these back in for next door, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to see uh, actually what we can do. We can literally put back in three because it doesn't matter. But yeah, we added the second burial, we've added the second pre prep. So let's see how busted this deck can actually get. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video for today. If you guys have any suggestions on like how to change the deck or what. Do you play or whatever leave those down in the comments below next week i definitely will be uh i would definitely add the changes to the deck now the uh the the wait hold on time out because last week people suggested stuff and uh the only reason i haven't added all those things is because the bandless drop and i wanted to show you guys like what I, pretty much what i've been working on and then since since, since tuesday's video we you know yeah, a lot of people enjoyed that video so i just said hey we're going to play with that deck and add a couple of changes and show you guys what it looks like so next week we're going to be adding the zombie master and stuff like that so yeah be on the lookout for that but yeah that's it for today and if you would like to support the channel all i ask is for you guys to click and add that'd be enough for me so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys uh possibly not tomorrow but next week